hi okay hi welcome back to lucky lady channel today my video will be about customizing or revamping my first synthetic lace wig and styling it as well so this is my first first lace wig i bought two summers ago yes that's late lace wig was a trend way before that but it kind of took me a while to get into it because the ones i've seen in person looked a mess and i was like mm, no way i'm not gonna be walking around looking like that but then i wanted to give my hair a break two summers ago from crocheting braids and stuff like that and i said you know what i want to get into lace wigs but i don't want to invest in an expensive lace wig for the first time because i don't know what i'm doing so let me start out with synthetic lace wigs. since then i have a long <laughs> uh, a full draw of lace wig that i will be customizing throughout these videos so this is my first one and i mean first first wig first video customizing or revamping it so it was like a light brown number four with a few highlights in there like you see some 27 and some 33 highlights throughout the hair i think it was a very la nice wig i will put a picture in if i can find it the first time i wore this wig and for my first time i did not do a bad job however what i found was that i over plucked the center part so what I plan to do is to do some ventilating and try to regain some of the sections back here in the part because you find that this section is way wider than the front and the back and I kind of want it to look even. So I'm going to ventilate some of this back. That's one thing I plan to do. I'm also going to be cleaning the lace for you guys. And this is the cheapest lace that I have ever on a lace wig. This is literally a plastic, a plastic lace. It's not fabric, so I can't bleach this. I can't bleach the nuts or anything like that. So what I plan to do, I'm going to show you methods I found that work. So it gives me that, still give me that natural look. And I'm going to show you that as well when I'm styling this wig. So I'm cleaning the lace. I'm going to try to regain some of the sections of the hair that I overplucked my first time doing it. And I'm also going to revamp this hair. It's very matty right now. And you know that little area at the nape of your, you know that little hair at the nape of your neck. Everything gets messy in the back right there. So I'm also going to work on detangling that as well. If you guys are interested in that, please stick around. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to need is a some kind of mannequin head to secure the wig on. I have this good old mannequin, not the usual blank face one. She has character. And um, <laughs> I'm going to be using her to secure my wig. If you have a styrofoam head, go ahead and use that. These are like $3, so don't go out of your way to buy one of those other ones. If you have a styrofoam, use this as well. The problem with the styrofoam, though, it does not sit on the stand properly. And because of that, I have to stuff it to fit it. So I prefer this right now. So, but if you don't like her face, let me know. And I might just cover it up. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and add my wig on here. And then I'm going to use these T pins and secure the wig that way. This is how they sold me the wig with the part. As you can see, it's not even centered because look how far over this side is. I guess it probably was a side part and I made it a center part. All right, so why am I doing that? It's because I want to make sure when I'm manipulating the hair, I am not having problems with the head moving all over the place. So it feels like I'm working with an actual person. Okay, guys, now that we have the mannequin or the hair secured on the mannequin head, we're gonna now start the detangling process. What do you need with you for that? 
you need some water with some fabric softener so that's what i have in this bottle and this is going to be used to help me detangle areas that seems to be way matted than others um it's actually a good wig so it's not that horrible with the uh, matting but it's kind of stiff in some areas or it's dirty needs cleaning um you also pop, need some clips to separate the hair or section the hair some sectioning clips you're going to need a comb to help you with the sectioning or you can use your fingers do what you do boo <laughs> and you need a detangling brush so i have this brush if this brush giving me problems i switch into this i have two detangling brushes with me so more than likely i'm going to speed up this process in editing so if you guys want to see a detailed process of this let me know in the comments and i will show you all right let's go detangling the hair it feels so soft and nice you would think it's human hair it's really good quality synthetic hair just the lace is horrible um and this is all that was removed from the wig and i did not have to cut anything out so that's a plus this is all the, the kinks i had to remove not bad right okay so and this is how much product i use still have half bottle of that left for another wig and right now this is what my wig is looking like it should be a curly or loose wave kind of style but now it's looking pretty straight but as you can see it has retained some of the curls and so i'm going to now work on cleaning the lace Okay guys, so I'm starting the cleaning of the lace process, which I think I probably should have did first. I probably will do that first the next time. But as you can see, the glue residue is right here. And I'm hoping that it's coming up good on camera, all that glue residue. And then we have some glue residue here. And then I want to get that makeup that I used to cover my parts. In the lace here so I have two things that I'm going to be using I mix my own concoction here that I'm going to be using to help me with removing the makeup and start loosening up the lace and I'm going to work in small sections because it helps so I want to get that and then I have a um, an adhesive remover as well and you need a, a firm brush hard and soft probably two brushes because something that you really want to wake up that glue and then something that's not too harsh that it will tear the lace because you really don't want a rip lace to work with but if your ribs were still working with it <laughs> me doing is me adding the adhesive remover and i'm gonna let it sit a little bit and then work on cleaning that out and that takes a little bit of time so of course i'm gonna speed this up as well. let me just 
here say also what happens sometimes is that sometimes you get the glue off the lace and it seems like nothing is moving is because the glue is also in the base of the hair on the other side so i'm gonna be working back and forth try to get rid of the ones on the lace and then start cleaning out using the comb part on the brush part back and forth until i can just get that glue to be off of it and clean the lace completely just be delicate with it because you don't want to rip the lace again all right I still have some makeup in the center part and this is not even foundation makeup it's actually um an airbrush spray that i use to conceal the lace since it's not something i could have tinted it's like like i said plastic so i had to use that tanning spray which you will see in another video she's been through it guys she has been through it that's the messiest part of this entire process is getting rid of the adhesive of the wig so we're almost done cleaning this the next step now is to pretty much get this in some soap water and start to clean this hair so um i'm gonna do that next and look at the back guys i actually don't have any matting in the back either we've got rid of that so it's coming along pretty good so let's go ahead and clean this in some lukewarm water i'm going to use some kind of shampoo any shampoo and put that in the water as well and then start cleaning this hair in the video make sure you follow my instagram page at lucky hair l-u-k-k-i-h-a-i-r that's where i'm going to be posting all the wigs that i am going to be restyling revamping customizing and now we're at the end of part one of this video please tune into part two where i am going to customize and restyle this wig i'm also going to name these wigs so that you kind of know which one is part two and part one of it 
So I'm going to name this wig. She reminds me of my best friend. I'm going to name her Dainty Ash. So this is what my wig will be called. So part two, look out for that. Until next time. Bye. Okay, bye.